Career Planning and Advising is a service that we provide students, or services, career services, which help students select a path if they're in an undecided status, if they're uncertain about the degree that they have selected and they want to look at other options. We also help with resumes and cover letters and interviewing techniques, job searching techniques. The advising portion of Career Planning and Advising is where students are able to select classes that they want to take for a semester or perhaps plan a degree path that will see them through to completion of either a certificate or a degree. We help to provide services to students and education about services that students are going to need as they pursue their degree. Career Planning and Advising is a group of people who have gathered together to help students excel and discover their, their educational goals as well as their career goals. So we help students understand their test scores, their transfer credits, everything to equip them to do their degree in the best and timely manner. The first step is applying to succeed and you need to do an application to be a student at Pikes Peak Community College, uh, apply for COF and apply for financial aid, prepare to succeed by testing, advising, and then enrolling to succeed is where you actually will register for the classes and then pay for the classes either with financial aid or out of pocket. Well the first step would be to apply, fill out an application, you need to also apply for financial aid and the College Opportunity Fund or COF, you'll hear a lot of people talk about COF, that's C-O-F. It's money that is provided by the state um, that goes towards your education and it's up to $75 per credit hour that they reduce off of your tuition bill. So it's well worth signing up for cough. FAFSA is the free application for federal student aid and that is where students apply to receive any grants or federal loan, subsidized, unsubsidized loans um, for financial aid purposes in order to pay for school. You can do all of that stuff online. They could also come in and do it in our admissions office or here in Career Planning and Advising at any of our student use computers. The next step would be testing. Uh, testing is very important. That is something you should do before you come to advising. Although you can come to advising to find out about programs before you test, it's a lot easier to advise a student who has tested. Students can test at any of our campuses, Rampart Range, Centennial Campus, or Downtown Campus. We have a testing center at each of those campuses. They don't need an appointment, they just need to have a photo ID when they come in. It's important to test because we need that information in order to advise a student properly into their degree path. Uh, their degree path is going to require certain courses that depend upon those test scores and it's a lot easier to advise a student if we know where they're starting at uh, with regard to, to reading, writing, and math. So a student can come to any of our three campus locations and sign in for drop-in advising. Um, if they have been to see an advisor before, then they can go in and make an appointment with their assigned advisor. A student can contact an advisor via email through our general advising email or directly with their assigned advisor if they have met with that advisor. A student is taught by an advisor how to register for classes when they come in for drop-in advising. Um, then they can go home and register or they can use one of our student use computers or go up to the computer lab and register where there will be people trained to help them if they have questions about it. We're always here to help and we're always here to provide guidance, but that is a step that students should be responsible for on their own. A student can pay in a number of ways. If they're receiving financial aid or perhaps military benefits, then those funds can be applied directly uh, to their bill, to their tuition bill, um, or also their bookstore charges. If they're paying out of pocket, they can do that online, either uh, through the student portal, or they can come in and go to any of the cashier windows and pay. I would like to stress the importance of advising. A lot of students do not come into advising and there is a great deal to learn about what it means to be a successful student. Um, they need to come in and sit down at least once with an advisor to learn how to navigate the institution. Um, many students come in even towards the end of their time here when they think they're ready to graduate and the surprise is they're not ready to graduate because they haven't sat down and planned out intentionally with an advisor. One of my favorite things though about working with students is helping them transition from that either terrified or fretful person who doesn't understand higher education into understanding how to navigate the system, how to get the most out of their degree, how to find the motivation within themselves to get the degree that they want to move them toward the career that would be fulfilling and satisfying for them in the future. Advisors are available at three PPCC campus locations by phone or email. Students succeed at PPCC.